you know, uh, and sometimes I have Ravens, little birdies, send me messages. I just got something from one of my little birdies, and it's critique of the Miss Olympia division from Tyler Mannion, the grandson of J.M. Mannion, son of the grandson of Jim Mannion, grandson of. I'm going to pull it up for you guys, as you know, a lot of you guys, we talk a lot about the guy stuff. I know you can <laughs> give most of your fans of this, and we're going to pull it up and get your critiques and thoughts of this. Shot to. Uh, it took them almost, it's almost been three weeks since the Olympia. Why it took you so long, kid? I mean, there you go. So we're going to pull up here. <laughs> NBC and IPB Pro League Vice President. And this will be your Mr. Olympia recap for women's bodybuilding. So in first place, we had Andrea Shaw. I think she did an amazing job in two months of really gaining back all the muscularity and the fullness that it looked like she had lost when she lost the Rising Phoenix. Really, she got back to one of her best physiques that we've seen over these last couple of years. The upper body definitely came back. For me, her lower body definitely increased in size again, but the main thing is that she could still use is more separation specifically to her legs in the front pose and the side poses. So that would be my main feedback for her. I still think she can improve her back just a touch more as well because some of these other competitors have very, very strong backs that are coming up. So really, I think a big congratulations goes out to her because this was probably the best quality woman's bodybuilding Olympia show that I can remember in a long, long time. So I think great future for this division. In second, we had Angela. Number one thing I you know, noticed right away was she was having a little bit of trouble controlling her stomach, specifically the lower stomach area. I actually think her suit was too low, which wasn't helping her as well in this aspect. But stomach control is a big, big thing. And you know, she was definitely having a hard time doing that during pre-judging. For her, what else she can work on is she can still add some more overall size to her legs. This means from the front, from the side, and from the back. And she can still use some more thickness and depth to her back so really the difference was andrea gained back all that muscle and all that size and we saw a big difference between her and angela you know even though angela's conditioning was better than andrea's you know everything else was in andrea's favor in third we had ashley who i think has had an amazing year for her first year of women's bodybuilding fits the category amazingly um the number one thing she needs to work on is conditioning she needs to at least get to Andrea's level of conditioning, which she still has not been at that level yet. If she can get there with the improvements she made to her physique, she's going to be extremely hard to handle. Really, I think that's the main thing she can work on. I still think her leg size from the side and from the back is great. Her leg width from the back is very good, but from the front, she can still add just a little bit more muscle to her quads themselves. And really, once she gets in that condition, I think the way it's going to make her physique pop on stage and really look is going to be crazy. In fourth place, we had Helly. Helly did a great job, I think, coming back this year. Her conditioning was spot on. For her, she needs to work on adding more thickness and depth to her back. We really need to see this in the back double and the back last red poses. And I still think she can add some overall size to her legs, definitely with a focus on the hamstrings. But conditioning was spot on. I feel like her waistline was brought in a little bit more and the aesthetics of her physique has gotten better from the last time we've seen her on stage. In fifth, we had Nadia from Italy. Nadia can use a little bit more muscle to her quads from the front, can use some more width to her legs from the front, from the side, and from the back. And she can also improve her overall back, which is thickness, depth, and width to her back. But again, very, very impressive physique and conditioning was spot on as well. In sixth, we had Christina. For her, she still can be a little bit tighter with her conditioning overall. And the main improvement she needs to make is more density and thickness and width to her back. That's definitely, you know, the back double and back last are her weakest poses. Everything else, she has really nice fullness to her muscles, fullness and roundness, very good muscularity. And again, this top six is very, very good for women's bodybuilding, you know, exactly what we would like to see. And I think it's going to be a very competitive 2025 because not only them, but there were some women below them that I think have great potential in this division with the amount of muscularity and fullness and the overall look 